The NBA draft lottery was a catastrophe last night. I'll tell you why. A lot of people said, oh, it's great for the game. Eliminate tanking. You know, you let these teams know that tanking is not acceptable. And yeah, that's true. But was that really the case? Because you looked at the Pelicans and the Grizzlies getting the first and the second overall picks. But what about the Atlanta Hawks? Uh, and a team this year that Trey Young played every game except for one game this year. They're arguably their best player, could have sat out way more, they could have lost a lot more games, gotten inside the top three, but no, they really tried to win games on the stretch of the season. They get the fifth pick, everyone's saying, oh, they deserve the first pick, they get the eighth pick. And then the pick that they acquire from the Mavericks too also ends up at number 10, the two worst scenarios that could have happened for the Hawks. So was tanking really rewarded? And another thing too, the two least valued franchises winning the lottery. I'm not suggesting that they should rig the lottery, and I'm not a fan of the big market teams winning the lottery every year to get the superstars, but one of two things needs to happen in the draft lottery, and neither of them did happen. Because by not giving these bad teams good players at the top of the draft, they're going to be in the same spot next year. You look at New York, Chicago, uh, you look at Phoenix, okay? If, you, if, if they are teams outside the top five, you know, that are that are the worst teams in the league that can get a sixth or seventh overall pick, they're going to be in the same spot again next year. Like, these teams need generational players to be able to get out of the lottery. Now, obviously, Phoenix has had that opportunity to have blown it many of times. Uh, but if you look at, like, a team like Chicago, you know, if Chicago doesn't want to be in that situation next year, having a guy at the top of the draft will do that to them. So by rewarding not tanking, the teams that are actually really bad, you know, just not even like like not even selling games, not even just blowing games down the stretch, you know, pulling the starters with five minutes left in the fourth quarter. We're talking teams that are just talently bad that need talent in the draft. If they can't get to the top of the draft, then it's just gonna be a cycle and a cycle and a cycle. Okay, so the second scenario, if if that's not gonna happen, if the taking teams aren't gonna get the first pick, is a big market team getting the first pick. Everyone hates it, but it's good for the league. You know, if the New York Knicks got Zion Williamson, that's good for the league. If the Lakers got Zion, that's good for the league, okay? So not only did the tanking team not get players that are going to change their franchise around, so they're going to be in the exact same spot next year, but you look at the popular teams like New York and the Lakers, who each had chances at the number one pick because they were in the tie of the top four, neither of them received the first pick. The two least valued franchises getting one and two, the most valued franchises getting three and four. So that's a problem for the NBA because the draft lottery, although it apparently is not rigged anymore, uh, you know, what two things didn't happen. The tanking teams are going to be right back next year and the big market teams who could have made so much money off Zion Williamson or John Moran do not get them. So the NBA draft lottery was a failure and it was pretty catastrophic if you ask me.